Well, I finally made it. I woke up at 3 a.m. to catch a 7 a.m. flight from LAX to JFK. That was a five-hour flight. I had a three-hour layover at JFK. Took a six-and-a-half-hour flight to London. Had an hour-and-a-half layover, and that got me here. Where am I? The number one tourist destination in Europe this summer. It's not England. It's not Spain. It's not France. It's not Italy. It's Croatia. Hi, I'm Andy Teach, host of Andy's Awesome Adventures, and welcome to Zagreb, Croatia. I am here at the main square, which is Ban Jelicic Square. And I'm going to tell you all about the square. We're going to take a little tour. But first, I want to thank my sponsor, Adventures Croatia. Adventures Croatia is the sponsor of this video and all of my Croatia videos as I tour Croatia with them. They are the leading tour operator specializing in travel to Croatia and surrounding countries. They have offices in the U.S. and Croatia. They are rated five stars on TripAdvisor and Trustpilot, so you know you're in good hands. You can go to their website, adventurescroatia.com. There's a link in the video description. If you mention my promo code, Andy's Awesome 10, you will get 10% off any trip you book with them. So thank you, Adventures Croatia. And now let's explore Banjelicic Square. Banjelicic Square is the central square of the city of Zagreb, the capital of Croatia. It's a pedestrian-only zone and is the main meeting place for the people of Zagreb. During the day, you'll see a lot of workers and tourists here, but at night, especially during the summer, you'll see a lot of young people. In the States, young people hang out at the mall, but in Zagreb, they hang out at the square. Rather than meet at a specific bar or restaurant, locals will tell their friends, let's meet under the clock. Or under the statue of Ban Josip Jelicic, for whom the square is named. The square's history begins in 1641, when a new marketplace was created. In 1826, the cattle market was relocated to where Dolat's Market is today, and this square fell into disrepair until the late 1970s. Count Josip Jelicic von Buzim lived from 1801 to 1859. He was a Croatian lieutenant field marshal in the Imperial Royal Army and politician, the Bon or governor of Croatia from 1848 to 1859. He was a member of the House of Jelicic and an army general in the Austrian army. He fought in battles defending the Habsburg monarchy during the Hungarian Revolution of 1848, and he gained the status of a Croatian national hero by fighting against Hungarian dominance in Croatia. He also abolished serfdom in Croatia. The statue of Jelicic was installed in 1866 by Austrian authorities, despite protests from Zagreb councilmen. It also caused unease among Hungarians, who saw Jelicic as a traitor. The statue was created by an Austrian sculptor, Anton Dominique Fernkorn. In 1946, the square was renamed Republic Square. Jelicic's statue was removed in 1947 as a new communist government of Yugoslavia denounced him as a, quote, servant of foreign interests, end quote. A curator at a local art gallery kept the statue in the gallery cellar. In 1990, during the breakup of Yugoslavia and after elections in Croatia, Jelicic's historic role had again been considered positive and the statue was returned to the square, although this time facing a different direction. Some more history about the square. Oil lamps were added to the square in 1830, gas lights were added in 1864, and the square got its first electric lights in 1907. A horse car line passing through the square's southern side was introduced in 1891. From 1910 to 1911, horses were replaced by electric trams. After World War II, car traffic through the square increased. In 1975, the square became a car-free zone, and today, this square is an important stop for the many electric trams that operate in Zagreb. You can make your wish come true by throwing a coin into the Mandushavitz fountain. The Mandushavitz fountain was built above an ancient natural spring that provided Zagreb with drinking water right up until the end of the 19th century. Court records about the persecution of witches mention the spring as their main meeting point. There was also a legend connecting the spring with the name of the city. One sunny day, an old Croatian war leader was returning from battle, tired and thirsty, and asked the beautiful girl Manda to scoop up some water from the spring. The Croatian word for to scoop up water is Zagrebidi, so the spring got the name Mandushavitz after the girl, and the town got the name Zagreb after the scoop of water. 